Hello and welcome back to Banner Saga. Let's rest a bit. We still have 25, 24, 20 days. 22 days. Be fine. Better let someone like me check out that place. Akil says, grabbing your arm. Sarah, think for the villets. We've left the ruins on the side of a cliff. Could be dangerous. Though he turned me around across the bar, he never been sure of his motivations. What do you mean by someone like you? The Fronax wait I before you can say anything, he holds up a hand. There'll be no way that is around here if I went missing. That's a fin fact. Can't say the same for you though. Take some others with you. Afraid I'll find something of value in the room. Greens. I might have crossed my mind. He calls to a few others nearby and they head off towards the collapsing structure. Later, you hear a building collapse and a more dust rising. Echo and the others return, but he is in a foul mood. Man, idiots! Hiding out like that could have killed us all, and we have nothing to show, to show for it. He storms past you. Then the good airs like you, I will. I try acting that way, try saving them, and almost die for it. Ivor stands stoically by Ewin's pallet, watching the Mander's breathing. It took a lot out of him. Out of everyone. No doubt, a lot of families lost members out there. So why everyone follow me? I get people killed. I'm not doing this again. If you can't see the number of people out there still alive because of you, nothing I'll say will change it. With nothing to say, he looked down at the resting man there. The spell within took a toll on him. He looked as bad as me. Before Ivor can respond, not leave abruptly enters the room. Good, you're here. It's the ravens. They're trying to leave and some of our people want to go with them. Why? We nearly went over a waterfall in these ships and lost a lot of people following some Valka across floating rocks. I'm not saying any of that is your fault, but people are scared. If they're made up their minds to go, they'll leave whenever you're not looking. And the ravens have been hoarding supplies the whole time, and they're trying to take off with them. Juno and Haken are trying to stalk sense to, to Bolver, it's so it's desperate. As you make your way to the door, you turn to look at Ivor. Another vowel isn't going to help that situation. I'll stay here with the Mender. You now stand down, or you'll be missing more than your horns. Stand down, you son of a god! I can't calm him, he's fury. Here they are, just as I said. Wolfers lost his mind. Take him down. This will get his attention. What you've done? It worked! Wolfert, hear me! The clansmen chatter as Juno converses with the day's Wolfert quietly. Haken grabs your attention. Get ready for a confusing conversation. Emotions to Ursa, a prince student's bodyguards, who's wiping her pitch covered hand with a rag on her way over to you. Good timing, witch. How is it you're still alive? Tss, tss, I can't. Me being a witch was a secret. I'd hate to have to poison you. Whoever this woman is, she just completely stand too far off the moments of each other. Thanks for the help. I'm Rook. You're so. When what? Then she stares at you blankly. One of the princes of Princess Lu of Prince Ludin's personal bodyguards. Just assume she died when we lost her. Well, Ursa, I'm in your debt. Ursa appears genuinely surprised by her choice of wars and chuckles cackles loudly. 
I remember that, Rook. You watch as she departs and find friends holding among the loitering clansmen. Strange, that one. Stranger than both of being as tough as a damn Sandor. <laughs> I should have mentioned he's a bursar. Probably the last of his kind after Einartov. Talking laughs at the blank, blank look. Berserks lose themselves in the fight. They are strong as gold bears and just as wild. Hard to save their friends or fall in the fight. So I meant their magics all, as all rock has many to decide to kill each other. I wasn't going to let him take our supplies without a fight. Call him trying to take off with supplies he tucked away. Couldn't let it happen. A cool anger glistens in Hagen's eyes when he looks at Bulwark. Why does he want to leave? Says you've been bad luck ever since arriving Boros Guard. I can't say I blame him for that. Do of you actually laugh for a moment? I bet his main reason for leaving is just to be in charge again, run jobs and keep his ravens in line. Like most of us, he is looking for something normal to wrap onto. Whatever his reason, I heard that some of ours are going with him. We've done what we can for him, for them. Let's offer them a couple of days of supplies. We've got a lot of mouths to feed. The ravens can make do with a couple of days of food and live off the land afterwards. That sounds about right. You've got a better he head for than me for these things. Now, let's see what we can find in what's left of this place. Cast the home into the air. Home? You glare at the clansmen and Vara stood among the ruins of Orm's Dollar and feel the rumbling blow in your chest. Everyone will be ready to leave as soon as it's time to north. I won't fall for that stupid furniture again. Fuka ignores your comment. The new members from the other character will probably need a beating or two. I think it was stupid of me to challenge Haikon. Not really my place to say. Since when has that stopped you? She, the shield maiden grins. We could have at least waited to hear the plans first, then decided. Their plans almost took us over a fan waterfall. That waterfall surprised us all. Of course, it will be nice to be on our own again. We we'll make it to Bingo, get a job, and things will back me. We always survive. And what about all those rich? If they make it across their cousin, it will be war. War's always been good for business. Polka smirks, but her face hardens as Juno approaches. Bulwark, could I have a word with you? Haven't you said enough? I'll hear her out. Well, I won't. I'll finish the packing. The two of you watch Polka stomp off, but not too far. She's protective of you. Get on with it. I know your rivals need work. Without work and calling that banner of yours is worthless. You step towards her, towering above the tall Valka, though she stands resolute. In Borsgard, we made an agreement, uh, arrangement for you to protect the sword cart until you were away from the dredged path. There across the damn cousin, that job is done. Agreed, but the cart you've been following has become too troublesome. It needs to be sunk in the deepest waters around. He grunts in disgust. Valka secrets. You will turn down the Mender Council's claim? What's in the cart? If you needed to know, I would have told you. Suffice it is to say you have a Valka's oath for a great deal of coin once you have sunk the cart. The Blue River northwest of Bindal is my suggestion. And if I just leave it in the woods somewhere? I will know, as will the other Valka. Besides, the ravens always finish their jobs. That reputation means everything to you. You growl, but she's right. Fine. The raven's oath. It will be done. Juno nods and walks away. Folka watches her leave and returns to your side. Now what? Now we have a job.
Tracks up ahead, a scout to report. Follow them away, away. Smoke up, a few blades, meat and meat, maybe more. Leave them. Surprise registers on everyone's face. So, bears don't know how to joke, Fulka says. A few of the men chuckles in the whisper. Tell them you're joking. Tell me you're joking. Idiots, of course I was joking. The tension among the ravens evaporates quickly and Fulka chooses fighters for the job. A dozen ravens set out. A mix of veterans and new recruits. They were join a couple of hours later with supplies. You hear one of the fighters muttering. They can find out of things when they give up their goods so easily. A group of new recruits from Boros Guard and the Pivot's Caravan are loosely gathered behind Mogul, a skilled trasher with a scar across his face. Felt like a good time to introduce myself. Mogul. Thought you were a Rooksman. A good man, Rook. Too good, though. He couldn't enjoy the lack of goods and gods and rules, the chance for fighting. There was a few rules of being a raven. Most important. Sorry. Most important is following my orders. Of course, yeah, but what about this red card that Valka was, has a slugging around? Something in stone signals primal warning inside you. That has nothing to do with you. Well, the way we see it... Emotions to the fighters around him. She's all around. Let's break it open and look out our reaches. We're mercenaries, you idiots. We're paid to run jobs, not steal from who hired us. Is any of this making sense to you? He ignores her. He's only interested in what you have to say. The card stays closed. Look around, Bulwark. The world is ending. Oaths don't mean a damn thing anymore. The man's words are fading behind the glow in your chest. That was your only warning. I was hoping you would say that. Oh no, Krummer. Sigbjorn! Oh, it's been so long. Oh, luckily, he took EQ. I'm glad that he took EQ. That man's say insane. He's a student to archers. We need to get to the last cut. Really? Wait, thank you. I can't? I can't, okay. Any ravens ever get knocked down? Oh, wait, damn it. Any raven get, gets knocked down, something, something. Call the weak, uh, unfortunately, can't call the weak. The weak. Wait, yeah, she has spear, so she can do this. That's bad. Uh, okay, I want you to get closer. Insult? Ah, oh, we can't insult anyone. Okay, they're all going for him, unfortunately. Need to get him out of. No, he's out. <laughs> oh, I was way too fast. Yeah. No. I kill as useless as always. Try insulting someone. This one. Oh. 
I was sure she was on the floor. She is... I think she's tougher than... Oh. Get over here. This one is, is insulted. He should be insulted. I don't know what it does. Force an enemy to back... Oh, he f it forces back information. That's all... It's easier to fight against those armored enemies than humans. Poka grabs Mogun by the hair and pulls him up to stand in front of you. He's beaten but not broken. Something to respect. Not for business, if you would. People think they can get away with challenging you, the short maiden says. You found the edge of one axe while staring down at the man. But he moves. Burly. The blunt end of Volka's spear takes out Mogun's legs. He falls to the ground. Several ravens deliver kicks to his ribs and arms, teaching him the consequences of disobeying orders. When they are finished, it's clear he won't be worth much for days. Some of our heroes are injured, and we need to rest in calm. Pink will rest over here in the ruins. A commotion draws your attention to the nearby woods. You're surprised to see a small group of dredge, some of which you've never seen before, engaging one of the new recruits from Boris Corps. How oh, this fans let us get here, you ask. No one has an answer. The tattooed fighter is not notably charmed, but, but he lobs two black axes in quick succession in an approaching scourge. The axes find their mark, shattering stone armor. Yeah, it's worth it. The man throws another axe, again coming ahead. His confidence is bolstered to the point of muttering a victory chant. With his last axe in hand, he heaves the weapon, but it goes wide. The scourge closes the distance and slashes the men across the chest before signaling for enforcements. What a shame. Let me get me see Pion. Oh, Mogon is still here. Oh, we need to take Volka. Really need someone. Someone who can hit hard. Oh. Oh, God damn it. He had four points, just... We need to jump. Okay, we've checked them all. A kill? Yeah, of course. Damn it. Okay. Morgan, yep, as well. Anyone else? Crumbler, no. Percy? No. Yeah, but we will give you some look. Nope. Uh, what's the amount of willpower else? So we'll give you some more strength. And we're ready. We'll try to keep our berserker and she'll make them back. I can't move them, I don't know why. This is causing a strength penalty after the battle reversal camp yet. He's gonna move first, so we will move back. Hopefully I cal cal I calculated this right. Ooh, the William. Careful, one of those slingers is getting ready to something. I can't read those, I don't know why. It's gonna take him some time to get there. That's fine! 
Do we want to try? No, he's gonna go next, I think. No. Okay. So we should be fine doing this. Shape to the ribs. She could go like this. Oh. Keep forgetting that they, they can. They all have to move. Okay, you go over here. Take a boat. But we can move him over here. No, we can't. Way too slow for that. I don't like the fact that they didn't move. But. Hit them hard. Scratching him bit by bit. I know we can't. Need to get him out of there. Hey, build man. Can you do this again? Yes, you can. Yay. He killed himself. <laughs> Whoa, he really hates. Oh, he hit him. Okay. I want to say that he really hates the guy. It is soon. What was his name? Yeah. Stink? Something like this. Something that reminds it. Spore. The axe throwing mercenary slowly gets to his feet, gently rubbing his bruised chest. Damn, broke my favorite flask in just when I could really use a thing. That's... Did you see where those dredge came from? Not really. You'd think I was already pissing or I would have made a mess when I looked up and saw them. Lovely. That cousin didn't stop them. Or they're coming through the mountains. Then I'll have a few more chances to throw. If you humans want to make your short lives even shorter, go ahead. You stare at the man until he backs away. I guess we don't have to rest at all. We're fine. Ravens in the... Uh, ravens in the air as ravens approach, Oli says with this look. Is that a good sign? The small village ahead looks well fortified with a few bodies outside the fences, being picked clean by the birds. Your caravan moves closer but stays out of our range. Whoever seen there wants to be left alone, Focus says, but it could be our best chance for supplies around here. So, uh, let's try approaching stating our needs. We grab the raven banner and advance on the town, dodging a warning or We need supplies, you shall. You know who we are, who I am. A few moments pass before several more hours zip past you one grazing shoulder near an old scar. Let those bastards trot out here alone. The faces of the fighters around you drop, they tuck weapons away and follow orders, but the disappointment is clear. I hope you know of some other way to get supplies, Walker says, because this slot is terrible at gathering roots and berries. 
and we need to rest. Oh, I see there's some place to rest, I guess. Sure, go to some more supplies in our car, Travis says, stating his belt. And of Ness having those other folks around, they might not have been worth a damn in a fire, but they knew how to track animals and spot berries just around everywhere. I agree. Start. Sounds like you need practice. Start hunting. You send a few ravens who off with him. Don't come back empty handed, you are. Troy's words are mumbled, but they follow orders. Four hours later, they return, each holding nothing more than a small rodent. Two of them have split one. Volka shakes her head and says, Pathetics. Ah, that's something. Wouldn't mind seeing irons fly. If only once more. Remember the last time you saw this fellow? How? Me? Eh? The next? Shut up. Being the ghost of this dead beer has forgiven you for that way, yet? Spar and old wonder who joined the ravens of half a century ago asks. The other ravens in thick folk look from the broken stone to use for shock. I, the moment said, we were nearly forty years ago. Same spot as now. Only a dozen of us left to the unkindness then. Better men by twice than all of you. There's something, but the ravens keep listening. Which one a job from him? Fair or fainer? Fair? More like, he says, spinning at the memory. He set us up to take the fall for some of his older deals gone bad. We got surrendered here, surrounded here, and this bear of a while loses his mind. He has a tree, a whole tree, and starts swinging. Spar starts coughing, but for others. He only killed us all, but all your earrings took a hit like no other, and there you have it. The excited driven starts asking a question, but Spar is all too happy to answer. Let's study the, the stone. Irons, the god known as the winter bird, stands proudly on an eternal perch of snow and ice. Stories of season past, of hunting Radormir across the summer skies, of creating blizzards while flapping its wings to land in winter for the outstretched wings. While walking around the stone, your foot thumps on something hollow. You clear away some ice and find a wooden box, probably after some token of faith to the dead god. You're leaving anything behind for that is a waste. You say immediately trying to open the box and pocketing the small item again. I guess we don't need to rest at all after all. There's the village. Cold creeps under cloaks and forces the ravens to huddle together as wind whips around you. Snow begins to blot out the warm scale mountains in the distance and you're forced to call for an early camp. Rising from your sleep, you begin pacing, occasionally drumming your fingers on the top of the large car. A motion in camp grows your attention. Walking toward it, you hear groans and see Folka's shield rising and falling erratically among some furs. Humans, you snore, but the shield flips away, bringing a dredge ground staring at, up at you. Stepping back, you bump into another dredge. Looking around, the entire raven camp is a swarm of stone armored bodies desperately reaching for you. When your axe slash out throughout nothing, you rise you are dreaming. An unexpected sadness swells in you like you let everyone down. A few of your ravens are watching you, smirking, but you growl make them. Look away. You decide to walk the perimeter alone while everyone else slowly awakens. Oh, and we can train. Here for another pissing match? How fear Kodamas asks. Or are you begging me to show you how to really carve up some falls? I want to wait. We can train classmen. What can you show me? 
Lots of neat little dead rich leaks. Alfie says, what can you do? Try to keep up. You're a berserk. Oh, we're all impressed. Alfie says, we was tweeting. But if you lose it out there in a fight and start getting your own, well, then you're just a pain in the ass. So let's start with you and the shield maiden. Fill up the challenge? Sure. Then start swinging. Use Bulver's frenzy to kill two enemies with one attack and use champion. Champion? Champion. Focus champion ability allows you to protect all allies and allies for full round. For maximum attack, keep as many allies and the focus possible. When the enemy is allies attack, champion will protect them. Okay. Uh, how your friends you will call the week? Okay, I guess that's it. Let's get him closer. attacks for one make sure you are okay so hmm. interesting okay use champion oh so no. one ally is protected by focus champion and it doesn't really work how it works nope attack He attacked the ball. No, leave him, leave the old guy alone. Let's get him out of here. And insult him. Uh, I should have insulted him in a sec. I guess. So he always deals two attacks. He could kill those two. So we can look here. All we need to do is get him over. God damn it. Yes, five. Uh, let's get him here. Let's hit her. Four. Wait. Work. Oh, I really need to know. Damn it. Your attack, how does it work? Curse is directed in a random adjacent. Random adjacent. Okay. I wanna restart. Can I restart? Oh, no, wait. Okay, can I restart? Give me a second. Okay. We'll try it again tomorrow. I need to think about this for a second. So for now. Thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye.